fluids, uh, mga masabaw na pagkain, na no? kung may option ka between water-based soup versus cream-based, mas maganda yung water-based soup. Okay. So, that's ang number one natin. Okay. Number one, mga technique natin para pas kami gatas, simulate the brain. Every two to three hours, bago ka magpadebe, mag-stimulate ka muna ng dress. Paano natin magawin yan? Two fingers towards the nipple. Para nga ito. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Paikot. Nagaganan ka naman. Yeah. So, ang gusto natin, ngayon kasi, sarado pa yung mga labasan ng milk natin. No? Kumbaga, hindi pa siya sanay. Mm-hmm. So, pag nahihilat ka, mas bumubura siya. Possible po ba habang pregnant pa lang? Hindi ka na nangyayon. Pwede. Meron. Diba? Nagkaroon na po ng parang okay. tumulo, tapos may barabarang wire. Okay. That's good. That's good, no? So, kailangan lang natin <laughs> i- mas kailangan lang natin i-ano ngayon. Kung baga, i-push pa natin. Uh, no? Parang para siyang i- puno, tapos masakayos. Tapos pag hinat compress ko, tapos masakayos ko. Medyo may lumalabot na. Tapos pag warm bath, parang lilinisan mo na lang ng towel. Yan. Pwede yan. Mga warm bath, warm compress, pwede yan, no? Before ka magpa-breastfeed. Para lang mas mag-open yung um, daanan ng milk natin. And then, aside from the stimulation, kailangan ini-empty mo rin siya. Kasi ang breastfeeding mommy works um, as a supply and demand. Para siyang, pag malakas ang demand, ang gagawin ng brain, mag increase ng supply. So, kailangan, yun ang trigger ng brain eh, para mag-refill. Kailangan walang laman lagi ang breast. Pag nag-sense ng brain yan, ah, mag-refill na ito. Pero kapag laging may supply or laging uh, may laman ng breast, hindi na i-empty. Ano sabihin ng brain? Hindi naman ganyan. Huwag na muna ako mag-refill. Ganun yung gagawin. No? So, to increase it, stimulate and empty. Okay? So, magkasabay yan. Number two, bring plenty of water. Malanggay supplements. Any malanggay supplement will do. We can ask your OB about it. Kasi baka may plan siya for you. And kung hindi naman din mabigyan ng supplement, yung actual malunggay leaves, dagdag mo sa diet mo. Green leafy vegetable, mga spinach, and nakakalaglag din yan. Alright? And um, inom ng maraming tubig. Okay? And lastly, kailangan ng pahinga. Pag-stress, worried, anxious about something, tendency is, ang nagawin ng brain, uunahin yung pagod at yung stress ni mommy kasi mag-produce ng milk. So, yung mga hormones natin, instead na nakafocus sa production ng milk, ay, nasa-stress, ay, napapagod. Unahin ko muna ito. Pwede hindi lumabas. Pwede hindi lumabas. Alright? Ang makakadagdag din sa milk production mo, back massage. Yan si daddy. <laughs> <laughs> back massage, neck massage, na, para mas ma-relax ka, mas mag-flow ng maganda yung milk um, mm. mo. Any, ano lang, yung normal back massage lang, yung comfortable for you, and not marine yan. Sometimes you can dim the light in the room to help you relax more. Right? Then, try ka na mag First 24 hours, si baby very sleepy. No? Very sleepy na. Paglabas nila doon, first hour, medyo active. Tapos, sa mga subsequent hours, medyo, ano na siya, um, very sleepy. Ano na na. So, para makapag-initiate tayo ng breastfeed, number one, kailangan medyo gising din si baby. So, t- tips in waking the baby up, yun yung medyo magiging challenge natin. No? First week, medyo challenging talaga kasi you're still recovering from giving birth, may swero ka pa, medyo limited pa mobility, but eventually, in the coming weeks, in the coming days, mas magiging, um, ano ka na rin, mas magiging sanay ka na din with holding the baby and positioning. And si baby rin, mas magkakaroon ng neck strength. Word. Na head, ano, uh, head, nakokontrol na niya yung head niya, head control. So, eventually, it will get better. Kailangan lang talaga ng saga. So, first week, first few days, mm-hmm. medyo matitest talaga ang patience. Nalaw nga ako. Kaya ganun na lang siya. <laughs> yeah, medyo matitest talaga yung patience. But it doesn't mean we're not gonna get there. So, take this as your first day at work. No? Parang, Una, pasok sa trabaho, hindi talaga alam pa gagawin. We're getting to know each other. Eventually, eventually, mas makakagawa ka na ng rhythm mo. Nang, um, kung saan mo gagawin to, kung anong gagawin mo, paano position ang gagawin baby. Ayaw na yan, ito, this point, gusto niya yan. You'll be able to read baby language again. 
And um, in terms of positioning naman, make sure that your back is supported, legs are supported, arms na nagahama kay baby should be supported as well with pillows, rolled blankets, na no? mga rolled towels, rolled blankets. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, no problem, no? Pwede yan, yung mga ganyan, no? Whatever will work for you. As long as you're comfortable. Make sure na when you are trying to position yourself, you should be able to sustain that position for at least 30 minutes or more, no? Para at least, um, hindi mo, in the middle of breastfeeding, hindi mo ibababa si baby. Nangangalay na ako mamaya na ulit, no? So, um, position yourself, make sure you're comfy. Si baby naman, when trying to position, make sure that her ears, shoulders, and hips align. Pantay siya. It's very difficult, even for us adults, to swallow. Pag naka-twist, connect, nakayoko, or nakatingala. So when your breast is like this, or nandito yung breast mo, tapos si baby naka-twist ang neck, sunod mo rin yung katawan niya. So parang nakaharap talaga siya sa'yo. For you not to forget that, ang natandaan mo, tummy to tummy. You should be able to feel your baby's tummy against your tummy. Pwede na try ka kanina side, naka side lying kami parang. Pwede yun. Pero parang hindi pa niya ano na. Hindi niya pa masyado. Okay, so yun din yung magiging challenge natin. Trial and error with positioning. We are at the phase na nage-experiment ka tayo. What will work, what might not work. And trial and error with positioning, what I mean by that is, may position at this session nag work on your next session it might not. May, may possession na gusto siya sa left breast, iba sa right breast. Mm-hmm. No? So, nandun pa tayo sa face na what will work for identifying it, what might not work. No? So, nandun pa tayo sa face na yan. And, uh, yun, yun yung positioning, positioning natin kay baby alignment and yung tummy to tummy kayo. Next is how you are going to uh, yung kamay. Yung kamay naman ni baby para siyang nakayakap palagi sa'yo open arms like this siya, na open arms. And then nostril, if you're really worried about the nose, mm-hmm. one nose na kalabas, one nostril na kalabas, enough na yun for her to mm-hmm. Ang ayon natin is yung smothered talaga uh, na yung nakikita, uh, yung hindi natin talaga nakikita. Pero if you see one nostril na nakalabas, enough okay. na yun, or yung bang may um, space lang, no? enough space lang, kahit shadow lang between your breast and the nose, okay na rin tayo din. Breastfeeding can make you feel comfortable and very sleepy. Okay, so lalo na pag night time ka nagpapa-breastfeed, I encourage one relative gising din to look after you and the baby. Baka makatulugan. Baka makatulugan mo. Alright, so uh, make sure meron pa rin isang relative na nagbabantay sa inyo. Alright? And um, next naman, no, sis, nakikinig ka ha? Nakikinig ka, dumigising-gising ka ha? Kanwari ka lang, patulog-tulogan ka na na. In terms of latching naman, mommy, we have, uh, I have two techniques to teach you how to latch the baby properly. Hmm? Gusto mo mo? Food mo yung pinag-uusapan, kaya ka nagigising, no? Ano may may baby? Mira. Si Mira? Mira Wow. Yun ang full name niya? Mira Kelvin. Mira Kelvin. Sa yeah. opos, uh, lapa, uh, apas and lupus, oh, ano, opos. Si Miracle nga. Then, naging normal. That's good. Yeah, at least, wonder baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ayan. So, um, in latching, we have two techniques. Number one, wait for Mira to open her mouth. You do not want to force the breast na nakaklose ang mouth niya. Oo. Ano nga ka? Yan, na? Ano nga ka? Yan, yung pinipilit natin. Na. So, what you can do to entice her to open her mouth, you can rub your nipples gently above her lips or um, in between the nose and the upper lip. No, parang um, opposite the nose siya. You can do that. Parang papaamay natin. In that way kasi, pag nasa taas ng lips niya, i-reach niya. Mas mag-open siya ng mouth niya. Mas haabutin niya, mas nag-open yung mouth niya. Ganun yung mangyayari. So rub the nipples between the upper lip or the lower lip or between the nose and the upper lip. Mm-hmm. You can do that. No? Once her mouth opens wide, ang gusto natin is a yawning light na buka ng mouth. We do not want to settle for this. This. Gusto natin almost as if yawning. Alright? So, pag nag-open siya ng mouth, medyo timing, push her towards the breast fast but gentle. 
So, may timing tayo na um, element. No? Fast but gentle. Si Mira ang lalapit sa breast. Hindi si Mommy ang lalapit kay Mira. Ang sakit nga nung parang kinahit ng nipon. Diba? Ang sanay. Yan. Tapos, hindi naman Si Mira yung ilalapit natin. Siya yung mag-a-adjust. Kasi comfy ka na. Settled ka na. Right? Siya yung i-adjust natin. Making sure the alignment is still present. Right? Number two is how you're going. So, yun yung number one natin. Mouth opening. Number two, how you're going to hold the breast. Imagine mo parang may sandwich kang pinapakain kay Mira. Yung breast mo yung sandwich. Right? So, it depends kung ano yung pwesto ni Mira para magkasya yung sandwich sa mouth niya. So, if Mira is directly facing your breast, this is the upper lip and lower lip, ang hawak mo sa breast ay letter C. Sandwich. No? So, sandwich. Kumakain tayo yung sandwich. If she's directly facing you, papaliitin mo yung breast para mag-fit sa mouth niya. So, letter C ang hawak natin. But, if ang position ni Mira is yung cradle position, nakatiga siya, katagilid siya, Instead of using the seat position, pa nakakakain sabi siya na katagilid, nakahiga. Pwede na din. So, pwedeng pabalikan na letter U or U position under your boob. Parang susundan yung... Yes, basically. Susundan mo yung position ng boob niya. Kaya ng ibang babies, ang gusto, nakadiagonal. So, susundan natin kung ano yung orientation ng mouth niya. Para magpipit yung mouth niya, pasok na pasok yung nipples natin. Bakit gusto natin pasok ang nipples? If your nipples is in between her gums, number one, pinilit, itasok, nagsettle for um, ganitong mouth opening, mm. nipple lang. And it will friction or it will glide between the gums ni Mira. It will cause you crack nipples, sore nipples. Rub you want, rub, open. Nasa loob ang nipples, ang magpipriksyon, na gums, nandoon sa breast tissue mo. Less yung impact. Hanggang kasama yung doon sa may ano. Ariola. Well, sa ko siya kanina, naiidlip na ako kasi hindi siya ganun kasakit. Yan. Pero nung parang kinurot lang yung ipit, tapos pinasok na ganun. Ganun siya katagal niya yung latch niya, may I ask? Ngayon, ano oras ko yun? One something? One, uh, uh, one fifteen nagsimula eh. Pero mga fifteen minutes na siguro na. Ang ah, tagal? Ah. Hindi o. Oh. Ang tagal. Hindi, matagal. 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 Siya na yung sumusok. Ano yung ano mo, mami? Ano yung posesyon natin na yung mga yung camera? Football. Football. Parang mas madali siya ngayon. Doon siya comfortable. Mas comfortable kasi football. Okay. Can I check the breasts? Para mag-check natin kung ano yung posesyon. Kaya ko na si Mira. Marka na yung ano. Marka na yung ano. 